the software licenses. The software licenses for the Braumat control system are calculated based on the number of units used. The price model starts with the lean edition at 4 units and can be seamlessly extended up to 40 units. Everything above 40 units is then included in the standard edition of Braumat. In this video, my colleague Robert Halwig shows us what is behind the term unit and how the number of units can be counted in the Braumat system using a concrete example. Thanks, Jürgen. The first question is, why do we need to know what a unit is? Let's imagine our customer comes to us with a flowchart of his brewery and asks us to develop the control software. One of the first steps will be to translate the physical plant model into a software model. For that, the term unit is indispensable. From our mesh and loader ton, corresponding units will be derived in the software. This software modeling is supported by the ISA 88 standard, which is the standard for batch-oriented operation, the so-called batch control. Among other things, the standard contains a physical model, a process model and a model for a sequence control. Let's have a look at the physical model. A plant can be divided into different plant complexes called areas. These consist of process cells. A process cell contains several subcells, the so-called units. A unit consists of equipment and control modules. In a real plant, we understand valves, pumps and engines as control modules. Equipment modules are more complex and can represent an entire tank, for example. A process can run within a process cell. This is described by a recipe procedure and consists of a unit procedure with operations and phases. These three components are processed by the unit. A unit is therefore a container for a related part of the plant equipment and the associated process. In addition to the unit of the physical model, in Braumat we are looking at the sequence. This is the software container for our program, i.e. for the process and its steps. A unit is always assigned to exactly one sequence. But how exactly do I define a unit in the Braumat context? We have put together a few simple reminders for this purpose. A unit is a combination of control and equipment modules with which a certain sub-process is processed. A unit occupies this equipment and contains the logical sequences for the process section. A unit works mainly independent from other units. The sequence of a unit can only execute one batch or one order at a certain time, which means that parallel running processes require several units. Let's have a look at our flowchart of the brewery. The mash tun, for example, meets all the criteria of a unit. It consists of a collection of valves and pumps that are used exclusively for mashing. The mashing process is largely independent from other processes, such as laundering, and of course we can only produce one mash at a time. In our example, the lauder tun is a second unit. It is also a collection of control modules that are used for a specific laundering process. In the Braumat recipe editor, the whole thing is built up as shown now. Our units are positioned in columns. The different phases of the operations, i.e. our process steps, are displayed graphically as boxes. Furthermore, we have the possibility to assign different parameters like the mashing temperature to the process steps. As we have learned, the process in the units runs largely independently of each other. However, it is necessary to synchronize different parts of the process. The Baumat system has so-called synchronization lines for this purpose. These are parameterized in the editor. 
The synchronization in the running order is then carried out fully automatically by the system. In the example, a synchronization line is used to start the loader ton as soon as the last stop of the mash ton has been reached. The end of the mesh transfer process into the loader ton is also synchronized. The program of the respective units is kept in the previous step without further programming until all units have fulfilled their conditions for step switching. In addition to synchronization, other methods of process control are also available. If it is necessary during a running order to decide which unit is used for production, an alternative can be used. If steps are to be repeated within a sequence or parts of the sequence are to be skipped depending on the process, jumps are available. I hope I could give you a better understanding of the term unit in the Baumart context. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.